Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento, mid-morning, af- mid-afternoon update for TFNN. And, folks, it's uh, it's a green Christmas day today. We've got all of the indices up sharply, uh, very sharply, as a matter of fact. They were up higher at one time, of course, given the fact that there's no more inflation in the world, at least here in the United States, which is great. And also there's a chance that maybe the Fed won't have to raise the interest rates again and maybe get us out of this recession, folks. This was the fastest blink of an eye recession that I have ever seen in all of my years doing this. I saw no signs of it anywhere, anytime, other than inflation going up. Everything is green, folks, with the exception of the grain markets, which just hit with a very, very negative report, pushing soybeans and corn and wheat all down sharply. Uh, We have natural gas is down slightly. Crude oil is up again, making newer highs, but it's been a very, very uh, interesting day. Now, what I've done today in the den for Tiger uh, Tiger Financial News Network, I have posted the long-term weekly chart of the S&P 500, and we have just made a uh, 78% retracement of the high that we made from January of 22, and that came in at uh, 40, 50. These numbers, 45.25, the high had been, today has so far has been 5.45.24 and three quarters. So that's pretty close uh, to where we went to. Now, the most interesting one that we're going to be discussing when my show comes up is the Dow Jones Transportations, folks. This thing has been El Fuego. It has been on fire and had a big, big move uh, early this morning. It's given back most of it, as a matter of fact. It's near the low of the day. I just saw the limit minders go off on that, so that's going to be a a real interesting one. Tomorrow, our guest is going to be Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. And then on Friday, we're going to have uh, Norm Winsky of uh, Astro Trends down in Naples, Florida. So there will be some good guests to pay attention because, folks, you got to pay attention to these markets because they are active, they are wild, and uh, that's the kind we like to see. Huge moves in gold and silver verifies that that 1908 that we had there to 382 in the gold three and a half weeks ago was pretty much spot on. So those are some of the things that we're paying attention to here today. So we'll stay tuned for uh, Fibonacci 24-7 and we'll be right back. 